Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be doing a bit of cleaning. So the idea is to get you motivated. I've got to motivate myself, so you're going to join me and get motivated. Whether you watch the video, then get motivated, or you can put the video on and join me also. Last night we had a delivery from Asda, so I've got a bit of shopping to put away, and there was a bit of a mess. Washing, drying, I think I'm going to do some hand washing, there's not a lot there, and so on. So I hope this motivates you. I've just dropped the girls off school, so now I'm just going to get on with my day. So let's all join in and get started. Let's get motivated and get this place cleared up. And first thing I'm going to do is have a coffee. So I just went to sit here and there we go. <laughs> the bolt had come I off the stool. So I will bolt need to fix off. that now. So I'm just going to show you what I need to do. There's a bit of shopping that needs to be put away. The floor, just having a closer look. The drinks need to be put away, washing to clear up and wash up. Moving over, the cooker needs a good clean and so on. So I just thought I'll quickly show you before I start, even though while I was having my coffee, I managed to pick a few items up. First, I'll put the timer on for 30 minutes. I'm just cutting up all the wrappers of the drinks to put them away. So I'm putting away the dishes that need to be put away. And now I have this sponge that has a handle full with fairy. The idea is to do as much as I can with the timer on and I'm just washing all the sink base, basin and around the tile. Now I'm just washing down the rack that holds the dishes in. I've washed the dishes and I'm moving to the air fryer with bicarbonated soda. I'm giving it a good wash because it's pretty greasy. Now for the surfaces, just there. wiping it down, checking the timer and wiping everything down, going along all the items that are there like the kettle, the tea, the containers for the tea bag, sugar and coffee. Then moving to the cooker, using the elbow grease spray and also the sponge which is elbow grease. And I've just checked the timer, the timer's up, so I've added on another, I believe it might have been another 20 minutes. And carry on with the rest of the work. The reason for putting the timer on is to motivate myself and to see how much work I can get done. And in that time, it's to step back and have a look and feel good that you've been able to do some, so much work under the pressure of a timer. By using the timer, it just helps out to organise myself and I just sort of time it to spend so much time in the kitchen and etc. Now I've worked on one side of the kitchen, I'm just going to clean the sink out. Again, I'm using the uh, sponge with Fairy and then I'm going to be adding bicarbonated soda and I've got this little grey mat here. The purpose of putting the grey mat here is because of the twins, just make it keeps it a bit safer. I'm also filming with one hand as well as cleaning up. Checked onto the washing as I put the washing out earlier. Near enough dry, 
it's all there. Swimming outfits, towels and costumes. So this is the one side of the kitchen. I have wiped everything down, tiles, dishes are there, they will dry. I'll leave them to dry naturally and pick them up later. I have five minutes left on this timer. I have yet to sweep the floor, mop the floor. I have quickly picked up some items that were here on this side of the worktop. And now I'm just going to clean the worktop and check. When I've cleaned it, I will just get down and have a look as an eye level of the worktop to see if there's any bits that still need cleaning. And it looks great. And I am using a sweeping brush. Sometimes I just find this easier. I'm just quickly showing you this hoover that I've brought. It's a robot hoover, goblin. Fantastic. And one day we just left it when I cleared all the kitchen off and left it late at night so it can go around the whole kitchen and just do its job. And it did it very well. So this is just for purpose to show you. I'll bring it in another video at another time. As we're all busy in life, we've got to make life so much easier for ourselves and purchasing what we can that will help us make life easier and getting jobs done much quicker. So this is why I'm using this brush with a tall handle. So, handle. And to be honest with you, it is quick and it really does help speed up. And the floor wasn't too dirty because I'd only done it I think a few days ago, late at night. So I did go around the whole kitchen and gather it all up, which I was quite surprised because I didn't think there was that much dust and rubbish. And I am also running out of time, so by adding, there's the rubbish, adding all the timer that I did, I have run out of time. So I did spend a good hour. And then I want to share these items, veggie wash. You can wash your veg and fruit. Now, every time we're washing them, I've ordered these on Amazon, you get 5% off next time. I just thought we'd go for something safer to wash all the veg and fruit. And my 13 year old daughter has been saying to me, can you get something else instead? So I researched it and I found these items. And I thought we will test it and it's safe to use. So this is to share with you, to give you some inspiration. Veggie wash. $6.99 for the tall one and for $2.9.99. So I will give them a go and see how they go. Add in bicarbonated soda to the mop, mop bucket to get the floor mopped. When I mop the floor, I leave the mop quite wet, water dripping off it, don't rinse the drain the water off the mop and this just helps to remove all the tough marks on the floor and at the same time to make life easier I do tend to mop the skirting boards if I use this kind of mop and yes it's hard work it's like a workout so I had to take my cardigan off and carry on and finished just have a quick look at the kitchen I'm quite happy with that I managed to get quite a lot of work done but I did go over my time limit that I wanted to spend in the kitchen I think I've spent a good hour maybe five ten minutes up but I am pleased with the outcome of it 
that will keep me going for a couple of days before it gets like it was at the beginning. <laughs> so I hope this has motivated yourselves and either watch the video with it or watch a video and get yourself motivated and get cleaning. The girls are back from school. They have rainbow. They're having stir fry and Ruby's not happy. And we get a smile. Come on then, eat up. Ruby can be a bit hard work. Sometimes she will not feed herself. And I'm trying to film at the same time and feed her so she can go off to rainbows and have some fun. I think it's really encouraging and it's really helped them to develop so much more by giving this little extra support out of school. <laughs> The idea is to get the girls quickly fed before they go to rainbows and get them changed. They have their little uniform and they will get on with whatever's planned today, which was a donkey. And here are some pictures of Ruby and Anisha at their rainbows. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to clean and thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.